In this video, I'm going to show you how to link up your Uclear Motion Series Bluetooth communicator to the Ski-Doo BRP Connect 7.8 inch panoramic gauge. I'm also going to show you how to connect the rider helmets after you get the main unit connected to the system. You may, you may want to connect a single unit Uclear Bluetooth communicator if you want to take phone calls on your machine or if you want to listen to music while you ride, it's a good option. I'm also going to show you how to connect other Uclear devices to the system once you get your initial one paired up with the sled. So we're gonna start with powering on the, the Uclear device. We're gonna hold down the power button until the, the device turns on. It will flash blue and then start blinking slow. You wanna turn the device into U-pair mode. So we're gonna hold down on the up and down button at the same time until the display starts blinking blue and red. Now it's actually discoverable by vehicles such as the Ski-Doo BRP connect. So now we're going to go to the dash of the snowmobile and connect this device to the machine. We're going to press down on the joystick. We're going to go to Bluetooth. We're going to move the joystick to the right. We're going to connect rider helmet. You can see here you've got your phone rider helmet and a passenger helmet. So we're going to connect rider helmet. We're going to add helmet by moving the joystick to the right again. And it says, please make your device discoverable. We are. So I'm going to move the joystick to the right to confirm. And you'll see it pops up instantly. Now we have Uclear Motion 6 connected. And it's going to start to pair to the device. Now you'll see it's flashing blue. That means the connection is successful. And now we are connected to the device. So we can stream music or take phone calls on the snowmobile. It's that simple. Now let's add another rider to this system. So I'm just going to get out of this menu and you're going to move the joystick to the left. We're going to just go back to our ride display back home again. We got our Bluetooth connected and we're ready to rock. I'm going to install these on the helmets and away we go. To sync up two or more Uclear devices, you're going to first power on both units. I'm going to start with the master unit, which is on the Van Halen helmet. We're going to power on that device by holding down the power button for a few seconds. We'll power up the secondary device or any other riders that you want to join in on the fun. Once they turn on and start blinking blue, we can start the pairing process. If this is your first time that you've paired the units, you will follow this instructions. If you've already paired the devices, after turning them on, you just hold the up button for two seconds and they will reconnect to each other. See that it's flashing green? it automatically reconnected both devices. So you never have to repair the riders again once you've done it once, unless you're gonna add new riders to the mix. This is something we didn't know when we rode in Sudbury. We were pairing up the units every day. Had we known that little trick, it, uh, it would have saved us a lot of time every morning. Then if you wanna take your unit out of pairing, so let's say you're actually going to have a conversation with somebody and you don't want anyone else to hear it, or you don't want you don't want the other riders in the group to be annoyed by a conversation you're having with another sl sled on the trail, just hold down the, the down button on the unit you want to disconnect, and it will disconnect, but leave the other units connected in the group. So now here we are, we have both units flashing, they're disconnected from each other. You want to reconnect, you just hold up for two seconds, and that device will reconnect back into the rider group. Now I will uh, disconnect this first unit. Let's say we we're gonna connect these from scratch or we're gonna bring another rider into the mix. We will hold down the, the selection button on the top of the unit until it flashes purple. That means it's actually in pairing mode. We'll hold down on the second unit third unit, fourth unit. We can have on the Motion 6 series, we can have up to six riders. 
On infinity, it's an infinite number of riders. So you'd have all your riders in pairing mode as soon as you um, are ready to pair the group. So if we have four or six riders all flashing purple, you're gonna press the power button once on the first unit. Now you'll see they're gonna pair each unit subsequently. When it gets to the last unit and you hear in that helmet that the devices have all connected and everyone in your group is flashing green, you're just gonna press power button once on the last helmet to confirm the selection. And here we are. We have full communication in the helmets in the entire group. So the end of the day comes, you finish your ride, and you, uh, you just simply power off all the units. And there's, it doesn't matter what order you do this in. You can power off the units by holding in the power button for a few seconds. The lights will go red, and then away we go. Next day, you want to go back in the ride and connect with your group. You just turn on the power on all the devices by pressing and holding the power button. Once they're flashing blue, you can just press the up arrow and it'll, it'll actually reconnect those devices to each other, just like that. So that's it. That's the secret to the connection and disconnection of your Euclear devices from your helmet. So now both helmets are connected to each other. We are also connected to the Ski-Doo snowmobile and we're ready for good times.